After a week of conversing with the deceased through his thoughts, the subject became distressed, saying the voices were overwhelming. In every waking moment, his consciousness was bombarded by hundreds of voices that refused to leave him alone. He frequently threw himself against the wall, trying to elicit a pain response. The subject repeatedly said that he could see and hear the deceased in his dreams. Only a day later, the subject began to scream and claw at his non-functional eyes, hoping to sense something in the physical world. The hysterical subject now said the voices of the dead were deafening and hostile, speaking of hell and the end of the world. At this point he yelled, no heaven, no forgiveness, for five hours straight. He constantly begged to be killed, but the scientists were convinced that he was close to establishing a connection with God. After another day, the subject could no longer form coherent sentences. Seemingly mad, he started to bite off chunks from his arm. The scientists rushed to the test chamber and restrained him to the table so he could not kill himself. After a few hours of being tied down, the subject halted his struggling and screaming. He stared blankly at the ceiling as teardrops silently streaked down his face. For two weeks, the subject had to be manually rehydrated due to the constant crying. Eventually, he turned his head and despite his blindness, made focused eye contact with the scientist for the first time in the study. He whispered, I've spoken with God, and he has abandoned us. And his vital signs stopped. There was no apparent cause of death.